Hi there folks, before we get on with the rest of the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my friends at Pro4Show Products. We all know that as shooters need good hearing protection so that we don't go deaf. <laughs> so I would recommend you pick up a pair of Pro4Show earmuffs. Now these have a 34 decibel rating, which is better than a lot of commercial products you can get, and they run right around $20 per pair on Amazon.com. And if you use my promo code that I will list below and on the video screen as well, you will receive 5% off your order. So go pick up a pair of Pro4Show earmuffs today. Now, let's get on with the rest of the video. Hi there folks, you're watching the Black Powder Shooter 44 channel. Today I'm out here with a Pieta New Model Army buffle gun, and this one is a stainless steel model. Now this one has a 12 inch barrel, 44 caliber, and we're going to bring it up to the shooting table and take a look at it. Okay, so here we have the stainless Pieta 1858 Remington up at the table here. I brought out the Colt 1851 Navy Buntline. I I have had out in previous videos. They got the, this has a 12 inch barrel. They're both 44 caliber, so they're similar guns. Um, as far as historic, historical accuracy would go, these are both not historically accurate. The 58 Remingtons, of course, only had the 8 inch barrel, and uh, the Navy's only had the 7 inch barrel, 7.5 inch. But uh, nowadays, Pieta makes a long barrel model of both. This one has adjustable target sights, which the Colt doesn't. The Colt just has a standard bead sight. You got an adjustable rear sight here on the 58. And uh, it's a little close up for you guys, but um, it's 44 caliber, like I said. Um, and we're going to get loaded up here in a second. Okay, we're going to get loaded up here in a second. Um, as far as where you can get one of these, I'm pretty sure Old South Firearms is pretty much the only place you could get them brand new that I know of. There might be a few other places, but that's the first one that comes to my mind. Uh, you could get these also in a couple different uh, finishes. You get a brass frame model, you get the blued steel, or you could get the stainless. And of course, this one's stainless. So we're going to get it loaded up, and I'm just going to do it on the gun today so put in half cock so that the cylinder could turn I have the 451 round balls there our felt wads here these are the homemade with the ghetto full number one recipe number 11 caps I noticed that it likes the number 11 caps better and uh, this powder flask is set for 28 grains of powder so I got the gun half cock I'm gonna put our powder flask Upside down, get our charger power, this is 3F, Grafson Sons Black Powder, pour a charge in the chamber. Next we'll grab a wad, stick it over the chamber, then we're going to take our bullet, put it over, and we're going to send it home. So I'm going to do that five more times, and we're going to cap it up. All right, we got the 58 Remington stainless steel revolver loaded up. Normally, I start off shooting steel, but today this is my first time firing it, so I want to fire it downrange on some paper to see where it's hitting. So we're going to go about 12 yards away from the target, see how it does. Okay, it looks to be a pretty good shooter. I noticed that in between each round though, it was gumming up a little bit. So, we'll see if that continues throughout the day. So, let's go check out the grouping. Okay, so here's our six shot grouping at 12 yards. Had them in here. One of these is a wad, but uh, we had a flyer here. But overall, not bad. We're gonna load it up again and try on some steel.
Okay, so I thought this was funny. Ashley shot this steel target here, and it didn't really make any noise, but it spun it around. So I did hit it. Anyway, moving on. Okay, last time around, uh, we didn't get all the shots to go off. I actually had one of the caps fall off, and also another one that just busted a cap. So I got recapped up. Last two chambers, we're going to touch it off right now. Okay, I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I'm going to try to shoot this at long range. I've only shot two cylinders through it, so who knows? We'll see what happens. Okay, I think we got four out of six there, so I'll take that. Okay, so we got my favorite target down there, shaving cream, and we're going to try to take it out with the 58 Remington stainless steel model. Alright, so I'll wrap up our review on the Pieta 58 Remington stainless steel buffalo gun. Uh, it's a good shooter. I've only shot it a few times, but on the steel, we're at the long range, we're, we got four out of six shots. And uh, we also made a little forest snow there with the shaving cream, so it was pretty cool. But uh, all in all, it's a good gun, and uh, if you're looking into getting one, you know, I, I, would, re I would recommend it. So, thank you for watching, folks. Um, be sure to subscribe to me over here on my channel. Also, go check out my Instagram at BlackPowderShooter.44. Follow my channel on GunStreamer.com. And also be sure to check out ProFitrial products. And I'll link my promo code down to their products at the bottom of this video. Thanks for watching, folks. Until next time, have a great day.